In this video we're going to use the microset and microsol method to apply Wiltrix miniature art decals and achieve that painted on look. Now this is the method I've used for the last 30 plus years. Like all things in this hobby, with a little bit of patience and practice you'll be able to get some great results and works pretty well for all the brands of decals I've ever used. I've seen loads of videos that say to use one or the other on their own but personally I've never been able to get that to work very well. You're going to need some microset and microsol very easy to get hold of if you don't have it already and relatively cheap and you'll need some sort of matte varnish now I've always used this stuff which is from Vallejo but whatever you personally like to use will work just fine you also need some brushes I use three in this video a slightly older medium sized brush for applying the microset and microsol products which you won't mind if it gets wrecked over time when I say old though it still needs to be a clean brush you don't want bits of old paint coming off onto the painted surfaces and decal then you're going to need a good quality small brush for applying the varnish as you'll want a nice smooth finish. I use Winsor & Newton size 0 or size 1. Now they're quite expensive so don't go out and buy one of these specially. Whatever brush you use for painting normally will again be just fine. And depending on the final results, at the end we might also need to use a nice clean dry brush. You'll need some sort of small container to place a little bit of tap water in to soak the decal once it's been cut out. Anything will do. You'll also need a way of cutting the decal out of the sheet. A sharp hobby knife is always best. And finally, some non-fibrous paper towel or kitchen roll. Now it's important that it's non-fibrous as we'll be using it to press onto the decal itself. And we don't want any fibers being left behind on the surface. This is just some cheap paper towel that I have in my workshop anyway, which I get from Amazon. So we're gonna start by cutting out the decal from the sheet. Using the sharp hobby knife and a cutting mat, I'll press down with the blade as close as I can get to the decal without damaging it. Then draw the blade backwards away from the decal. I press down with the blade first as I find it leaves a much smoother edge to the decal carrier film. And the smoother it is, the easier it is to disguise in the later stages. I find that if you drag the blade close to the decal to start with, it can sometimes ruck up the edge of the decal film, which will mean you have to work a little harder to achieve that painted on look later. Carry on making a series of cuts, removing as much of the film as you can until you have something similar to this. Next we're just going to drop this into the water and leave it to soak for a few minutes. You don't need lots of water in the dish, just enough to wet and cover the decal. We're going to be adding our decal to this shoulder pad that I've painted up. While the decal is soaking, take the microset and using the older of the brushes apply it to the area you want to place the decal. Then put to one side to dry. It's been a few minutes, by now the decal should have had enough time to soak and release from the backing paper. We're just going to get that out of the water like this. Now if you find the decal isn't freely moving, either pop it back into the water to soak a little longer or just give it some gentle encouragement with a brush. Place the decal on the miniature like so and just gently manoeuvre it into place with the brush. When you're happy with the position, we need to remove any excess water from the surface. To do that, I simply squeeze the bristles of the brush between my fingers like this to remove any moisture. And then gently sweep the brush over the surface. This will just suck up any water that may still be on there. And set aside for a couple of minutes to dry. Next, we're going to take some of the paper towel and we're going to press down on the decal surface, gently rocking our finger as we press it down. This stage just helps the decal carrier film conform to the surface of the miniature and it will also tease out any of those small air bubbles that might be trapped underneath the surface, which, if left, will give you that silvering effect that you want to avoid. And once we've done that, we're going to take some of the microset again and gently apply it to the surface of the decal using our older brush. The microset softens the decal film, making it more pliable. So we'll just put that to one side and give it some time to do its thing. Next, as we did previously, we're going to take some of the paper towel, gently rocking our finger as we press down. Now these last two steps can be repeated a couple of times if necessary until you're completely happy with the result. For the next step, take some microsol and again using the older brush, apply it to the surface of the decal and leave it to dry. Now it's important to be very gentle at this stage as the microsol is a lot stronger than the microset and will really soften the decal film. And if you're not careful, you can easily destroy the decal. 
So put this to one side to fully dry, and this time do not use the paper towel to press down afterwards, or you could ruin the decal. Now just a couple more steps, take some of the Vallejo matte varnish, water it down slightly to this sort of consistency. And we're just going to apply it all over the surface where we've just placed the decal. This adds an extra layer of protection over the decal film, important if you're going to be gaming with your miniatures, and it will also help disguise any sheen still visible from the decal carrier film. I usually like applying two coats of the matte varnish, leaving it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes between coats. Now sometimes, even after you've applied a couple of coats of the matte varnish, you might find that when the light catches the decal, it still stands out slightly from the surrounding painted area. If that's the case, I use a method I learnt from one of Darren Latham's Instagram reels, where you take a clean dry brush and just gently brush over the whole area a few times, like this. This just helps give the whole area the same finish and helps tie everything together. And that's all there is to it. With some practice and patience, you should easily achieve that painted on look for your decals. I hope you found that little tutorial video useful. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more of my hobby content, check out my YouTube channel over on the right. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you over there.